Have you ever felt a strange sensation like a sudden wave of fear, deja vu or an odd smell before a seizure? If so, you may have experienced a seizure aura, but what exactly are they, and why do they happen? Let's break it down. A seizure aura is actually the beginning of a focal seizure. It's a warning sign from the brain that a bigger seizure might be coming. Auras happen when abnormal electrical activity starts in a specific area of the brain, but before it spreads. Some people only experience auras without progressing to a full seizure, while others find it's the first phase of a larger event. Seizure auras can take many forms depending on which part of the brain is affected. Here are some common types. What are sensory auras? A sensory aura is a perceptual disturbance that occurs before or during certain neurological conditions, most commonly migraine with aura or focal seizures, also known as partial seizures. It involves unusual sensory experiences such as tingling, numbness, distorted vision, or even changes in smell and taste. These sensations result from abnormal electrical activity in the brain. Sensory auras are caused by temporary disruptions in brain activity. These disruptions can be due to migraine aura, which is caused by cortical spreading depression, a slow-moving wave of electrical activity across the brain. They can also be due to seizure aura, which results from abnormal electrical discharges in specific areas of the brain, often preceding an epileptic seizure. Less commonly, sensory auras can occur in conditions like multiple sclerosis or transient ischemic attacks, also known as mini-strokes. Sensory auras can affect different senses depending on which brain regions are involved, a visual aura is the most common type. Symptoms include flashing lights, zigzag lines, blind spots, shimmering shapes, and tunnel vision. This type of aura affects the occipital lobe which is responsible for vision and is common in migraine with aura and some seizures. A somatosensory aura is touch-related and involves symptoms like tingling, numbness, crawling sensations, and burning sensations. This type of aura affects the parietal lobe which processes touch and body sensations and is common in migraine with aura and focal seizures. An auditory aura is sound-related and includes symptoms such as ringing, buzzing, hearing music, and distorted sounds. This type of aura affects the temporal lobe, which is involved in auditory processing and is common in temporal lobe epilepsy, and rarely in migraine. An olfactory aura involves phantom smells which can be burning, rotten, chemical-like, or even pleasant odors. This type of aura affects the temporal lobe, especially the olfactory centers, and is common in temporal lobe seizures and rarely in migraine. A gustatory aura involves unusual tastes, such as metallic or bitter tastes, without any food. This type of aura affects the temporal lobe and the gustatory cortex, and is common in epileptic seizures. A vestibular aura involves balance and motion-related symptoms like dizziness, vertigo, and feeling of floating or spinning. This type of aura affects the brainstem, cerebellum, and inner ear connections, and is common in vestibular migraine and some seizure types. In migraine with aura, auras last 5 to 60 minutes before a headache starts. In focal or partial seizures, auras can last seconds to minutes and may progress into a full seizure. In transient ischemic attacks or mini-strokes, auras have a sudden onset, usually lasting minutes, often affecting vision or sensation. To manage sensory auras in migraine, lifestyle changes, avoiding triggers, and certain medications can be helpful. For epilepsy, anti-epileptic medications, lifestyle adjustments, and in some cases, surgery may be necessary. If a new or unusual aura occurs, especially with stroke-like symptoms such as sudden weakness or confusion, seeking immediate medical help is crucial. What are emotional auras? An emotional aura is a neurological phenomenon where a person experiences intense or unusual emotions as a warning sign before a seizure, migraine, or other neurological event. An emotional aura is a neurological phenomenon where a person experiences intense or unusual emotions as a warning sign before a seizure, migraine, or other neurological event. These auras are caused by abnormal electrical activity in brain regions that regulate emotions particularly the amygdala, hippocampus, and limbic system. Unlike mood swings or psychiatric conditions, emotional auras are brief, sudden, and often feel foreign, meaning the emotions may not be connected to external circumstances. They usually last seconds to minutes before progressing into a full seizure, migraine, or other neurological event. Emotional auras typically result from abnormal neural activity in emotion-related brain regions, including the amygdala, which processes fear, anxiety, and pleasure. 
the hippocampus, which is involved in memory and emotions, the limbic system, which regulates emotional experiences, and the frontal and temporal lobes, which modulate emotional expression. They are commonly associated with focal or partial seizures, especially in temporal lobe epilepsy. They are also associated with migraine with aura, though emotional symptoms are less common than sensory auras and other neurological conditions such as transient ischemic attacks, multiple sclerosis, or panic-like disorders. Symptoms of emotional auras include fear or panic, also known as ictal fear, which involves sudden, intense fear without any external reason and can feel like an overwhelming sense of impending doom. This often occurs with autonomic symptoms like a racing heart or shortness of breath, and involves the amygdala and limbic system. It is common in temporal lobe epilepsy and panic-like seizures. Euphoria involves a feeling of extreme joy or ecstasy and may be accompanied by a sense of oneness with the universe or profound meaning. This can resemble spiritual experiences or feelings of awe and involves the temporal lobe and limbic system. It is common in seizures, migraine with aura, and psychedelic-like auras. Deja vu or jamaise vu are memory-related emotional auras. Deja vu involves a strong feeling that you've experienced this exact moment before, even though it's new, while jamais vu involves familiar things suddenly feeling strange or alien. These experiences are often linked with emotional responses like unease or fascination, and involve the hippocampus and medial temporal lobe. They are common in temporal lobe epilepsy and dissociative episodes. Sudden sadness or grief, also known as ictal dysphoria, involves a wave of deep sadness, sometimes leading to tears. This may feel like an overwhelming sense of loss without a clear reason and can occur alongside depressive thoughts, though it is brief and unrelated to actual life events. This involves the limbic system and cingulate gyrus and is common in focal seizures and migraine with aura. Rage or aggression, also known as ictal aggression, involves a sudden burst of anger or frustration without an external cause. This may feel like a desire to lash out or intense irritability and is often brief and uncontrollable. This involves the frontal and temporal lobes and the amygdala and is common in frontal lobe epilepsy and temporal lobe seizures. An altered sense of reality, known as derealization and depersonalization, involves feeling that the world is unreal, dreamlike or distant, or feeling disconnected from your own body, as if watching yourself from the outside. This can be terrifying or strangely peaceful and involves the parietal lobe and limbic system. It is common in seizures, dissociative disorders and migraines. In seizures, emotional auras last seconds to minutes and often progress into a full seizure. In migraines, they last 5 to 60 minutes, sometimes persisting into the headache phase. In other conditions, they can be intermittent, lasting minutes to hours in dissociative or panic-like episodes. To manage emotional auras in seizures, anti-epileptic medication, avoiding seizure triggers, and in medical-resistant cases, vagus nerve stimulation or surgery can be helpful. For migraine with aura, preventative medications, reducing stress, and maintaining good sleep hygiene are recommended. For other neurological causes, grounding techniques, mindfulness, therapy for dissociation, and medical evaluation for stroke-like symptoms are essential. Emotional auras can feel unsettling because they involve intense emotions detached from external reality. However, they are usually warning signs of underlying neurological activity rather than purely psychological issues. If emotional auras occur frequently or lead to confusion, seizures or unusual behaviors, seeking medical evaluation is crucial. We have covered sensory and emotional auras in this episode. Stay tuned for the next video on more types of auras by subscribing to our channel, setting the bell button to receive all notifications, and sharing our videos for epilepsy awareness. Stay safe and see you again soon.